Okay, so we now want to implement the functionality where we can click on a task and it will then be set to completed. All right then, okay, so let's go to the API code and let's go to the task schema, which is in task.model.js and let's add a field here called completed, uh, which is of type boolean. Um, and the default value will be false. Okay. And that's all we need to do on the API. Now let's go to the Angular application. And now let's find the task element. And let's create a click listener here. And it will call the on task click method. And we'll pass in the task object. So now let's go to taskview.component.ts, the component class. Okay, and now let's create that method. And we'll be getting uh, the task object, which will be of type task. Okay, and we haven't imported that yet. So let's import that. And also, uh, let's change these to use the models. So here, we will have um, type list, which will import and type task. And here as well, we will have a task and here we'll have a list. Okay. And here, what we want to do is um, we want to set the task to completed. And to do this, we have to go to the task service and create a completed method. So um, complete and as arguments, we will get the task object and we will return this dot web request service dot patch and we will pass in the uri using the back tick because we'll be using a template string and it'll be lists slash and then task dot list id slash tasks slash and then here we can put task dot id and the payload will be an object. So let's pass an object. And here the payload will just be the completed value set to true. So there we go, that's all we need to do. And let's save that. And um, now we can go to taskview.component.ts and we can now um, call that method. Uh, This.taskService.complete and it will take in that task, task object. And that should be it. Um, we have to subscribe though, so subscribe to that. And we won't be getting the data here. We won't be. And this is because we don't receive the data when we uh, perform an update because we don't need to get the updated values back because we already have them. Okay, so here we can just do console.log completed successfully. There we go. So now we can go to our app and open the console. And now we can try and click on a task. So Okay, so we're getting an error here. Um why is that? All right guys. Um one thing we have to do is go to the cause headers middleware. And we have to actually add a header here called access control allow methods because by default, the patch method isn't allowed. So we have to press enter here and do res.header. And then in here, we'll do access control allow methods. And we'll then pass in the string. And then here we'll have a list of the allowed methods. So we will have get comma, post comma, head comma, options comma, put patch and delete. Okay. So now we are explicitly stating which methods the API can handle. And as you may have noticed, we have the patch in here as well. Great. Okay. So save this now. And now this will prevent further cause errors but we still have to handle the error that we saw before. So let's get back to that. Oh, okay. So the reason that we are getting this error is because um, we aren't returning a JSON object here. 
So um, here, let's um, let's send back a JSON object instead. So let's send, and let's just send a message, and then updated successfully. And that should fix it now. So let's reload the page, and let's try again. And there we go. So we now get this console log. Great. And now we can go to our Angular app and go to the task view template and we can make some changes here. What we want to do is add a completed class if the task has been completed. So what we have to do is we have to go to the style sheet and um, let's see. Okay, so we do have the complete class here. So let's go back to the template and let's use something in Angular called ng class, which allows us to conditionally put classes on elements. So let's uh, create that. And here we have an object. Use quotes and type in the name of the class, which is completed, and then set that to a Boolean value. Um, and we will set that to task.completed. And we actually have to put this in the um, the task model. So let's add completed here. There we go. Okay, so this should now work. Um, let's make sure everything's saved. And let's go to our app. And let's try it. So this doesn't seem to be working because this should have the completed class. Uh, but it doesn't. Okay, so it is working because it does have the completed task. But for some reason, the um, class, the class isn't working. Okay, so let's go to the style sheet. Uh, let's go to the style sheet here and let's see. Oh, it's complete, not completed. Okay, so let's uh, change this to completed and save that. And now let's go back. And there we go. So we now have a completed task here. Great. Now let's try and uh, click on this one. Okay, and we get, and we get the success message show up. Uh, and if we reload the page, that is now also completed. So that is great. But we need a way to add the completed class to a task element once it's been clicked. And we have got the success message back from the server. So let's go back to our code. And let's go to this method here. Um, so uh, one, so the, the task has been set to completed successfully. And here we can do task dot completed is equal to true. There we go. That was the missing piece of the puzzle. So let's go back to the app and let's try and click a task. And there we go. So that's amazing. So now whenever we click a task, it is now set to completed. What would be great as well is if we could toggle the completed state. So let's implement that now. So let's go back to the code and uh, let's go to the task service. And let's um, not set completed to true, but let's set completed to um, not task.completed the opposite of the current completed value. So save this now. And let's go back to the um, component class here. And let's set this as well to not task.completed. So that should now work. Let's go back to our Angular app and let's reload the page. Okay, and let's click on this task. And there we go. So that's now been uncompleted. And let's try that again. And let's reload the page to make sure that they stay that way. Hey, there we go. Okay, so now that's completely working. We can now complete and uncomplete these tasks. That's pretty amazing. We've successfully completed the functionality to complete and uncomplete tasks. So the next thing we want to do is add user authentication. And that is what we're going to be doing in the next video. So stay tuned to see how we can add user authentication to this app.